This week we are continuing our discussions about Microsoft Project and today we're going to talk about entering project information. So this would be the third step in the process. Of course you're going to make a file, you're going to set up your calendars and then the third step would be um, entering your in your project information. This can be done in the project tab and then clicking the project information button and this is going to pop up. So let's go through this. <clears throat> First thing you have would be setting a start date of the project or a finish date of the project. Um, and this is going to be determined based on what you set schedule from to be. So if I schedule from a project start date, obviously I can pick a start date. If I schedule from a finish date, I can pick a finish date. Now, uh, how you schedule a project does impact um, greatly uh, how project is going to act as far as laying out your schedule. So when you set a project to be based on a start date, all your tasks by default are set up to begin as soon as possible. If you set up a project to be based from a finish date, then all tasks are going to be scheduled to be as late as possible, meaning pushing it as close to the finish date. So what project's trying to do is create the shortest um, time frame for, you, for your schedule. So if I change this to project finish date, I can pick a finish date. If I change it to start date, I can pick a start date. The majority of our projects out there are start date projects. And then you could pick whatever you want the start date for the project to be, and it would use that moving forward. Then you have the current date uh, that will update as, as it moves forward. You can also choose what you want the current date to be, and this could be for a number of things. You could have created custom views that incorporate the current date that you might want to change. Um, you could simply use the update projects feature, um, which will use the current date and you want it to use something other than the actual current date. So that's why we can change that. Status date, usually used to drive something called earned value. And this is based, um, this is a cost based analysis. So setting a status date here, here's how I use it. The status date is the date to which I have received actual information. So if I'm two weeks into my project, but I only have actual numbers from that first week, well, then that's going to be my status date. Um, there's varying ways to use it, but that's, that's how I utilize status date. Calendar is what the project is going to be using. So this is the uh, default calendar for the project. We created a calendar earlier called 10 hour shift. So if I wanted to use that for the project calendar, you could choose that there. And then you have your default priority right now. It is defaulted to 500. Uh, meaning medium or normal priority, 1,000 is high priority, 1 is low priority. And we'll talk about these priority levels when we talk about resource leveling and, and a little bit later on. And we'll explain why there's such a great range there. But 500 is considered normal. So once you set up and pick all of your project-related data, you hit OK. It's going to set up the project. At this point, we're ready to start entering information, and we'll talk about that in the next video.